Noah's Ark is an ancient biblical story that has captured the imaginations of people for centuries. It tells the tale of a man, Noah, who was instructed by God to build an enormous ark to save himself, his family, and two of every animal species from a catastrophic flood. While this story is a testament to faith, determination, and survival, it's also a perfect example of how people can consider visionaries to be crazy. In this video, we will delve into the story of Noah's Ark and the sarcastic notes that history and skeptics have attached to it. But first, I still encourage you to ever so gently pet the subscribe button just for good luck. But now, back to the video. Noah, the central character of this story, is often portrayed as a devout and obedient man who followed God's command to build the Ark. However, let's not overlook the fact that the task he undertook was nothing short of preposterous by any rational standards. Imagine someone today claiming that they had a divine vision instructing them to build an ark to save animals from an impending global flood. The immediate response would likely be skepticism, if not outright ridicule. Oh sure, God told you to build an ark. Was it during your morning coffee or while you were busy doing something else important? Sounds totally legit. The specifications for Noah's ark, as outlined in the Bible, are mind-boggling. It was to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high, a vessel of truly epic proportions. According to some interpretations, a cubit is roughly the length from a person's elbow to the tip of their fingers, which varies from 17.5 to 20.5 inches. So, Noah was tasked with constructing an ark roughly the length of a football field and a half, all to accommodate a vast assortment of animals, their food, and his family, some probably wondered, did Noah get the blueprints for this colossal ark? Did God provide a how-to manual? Or perhaps a celestial carpentry class? Noah was further instructed to bring two of every animal species on board the ark. That includes not only the cute and cuddly ones, but also the fierce, venomous and downright dangerous creatures. The logistics of capturing, feeding and managing such a menagerie would have made even the most skilled zookeepers of today's world pale in comparison. But a classic skeptic would add, Noah, how did you convince those lions and tigers to share a cabin with the zebras and gazelles? Did you use your animal whisperer skills? One of the most puzzling aspects of the Noah's Ark story is the flood itself. According to the biblical account, this global deluge was supposed to last for 40 days and 40 nights. However, given the sheer amount of water required to cover the entire earth, one might wonder where all this water came from and where it went afterward. Thanks for watching.